Following the family legacy of building better shorthorns, Dr. Les Mathers of Leveldale Farms in Mason City, Illinois, has charted the path for their herd that is rooted in basic beef production. If there's one trait that is dominant in our selection process, it is reproduction without assistance at multiple levels and generationally. We don't keep a bull a bull that needs any assistance in their birth. We generally don't keep a bull or a female if they're over 95 pounds at birth. Since the 1960s, Leveldale Farms has placed tremendous selection emphasis on the animal's most practical functions first. As the main labor force for the cattle operation at Leveldale, herdsman Scott Wall understands the value of cattle that can do it on their own. They pretty much need to take care of themselves. They need to calve unassisted, raise a calf, minimal extra nutrition, basically grass. Generally we don't creep feed, certainly have to breed back. Udders need to stay good on cows and if they don't meet those criteria, they're usually culled. Calving ease, growth, flushing ability, structural integrity, moderation of mature cow size, and udder quality are all traits that exemplify the modern Leveldale herd. However, collection of carcass and performance data has played an increasing role in recent years. That we do select tremendously looking at multiple traits. The, the fertility, the calving ease, and, and the, the sexual traits that are consistent with sound reproduction are right at the top of the list. But then we do and have done for a couple of decades ultrasound testing so we know the carcass qualities of our animals as well. While genetic predictors within the breed continue to become more advanced, the Leveldale herd has worked hard to maintain a balance of phenotypic traits as well, ensuring that what you see in the field matches what you read on paper. You can look at the numbers and they are extremely important. Statistics are extremely important, but you can go off on a tangent following the numbers that still don't have a high degree of accuracy and predictability and go in the wrong direction, just like you can go off single trait selecting on a phenotypical issue. We try to blend those together so that the numbers make sense. With this balanced approach to breeding, Leveldale has built their herd now 120 cows strong around functionally correct, attractively designed cattle that make sense for their program. And now, through a unique partnership with Scott Wall called Ovatime Genetics, these animals are being replicated more intensely than ever before. Ovatime Genetics is the ET business that I co-own with Les and his sister. One of the, the main pulls for me to come to Leveldale was that opportunity to set up an embryo transfer business with him and become partners. Even with the new opportunities this partnership provides, Leveldale remains true to their belief that all the cattle must first prove their worth to the herd before their value is assigned. Donor cows have to meet certain criteria as far as calving intervals and weaning weights on their calves, good uttered. We generally don't flush anything that's younger than probably five years old because we try to make them prove themselves before we think they're you know, available to become a donor cow. Through rooting themselves in the basics of beef production, the Leveldale herd has consistently produced cattle that work for their owners for more than 150 years, and that is selection for longevity.